Hello, good morning to everyone. I am Paola Cirelli, Application Specialist for Faro Technologies. Today, I will present you the terrestrial laser scanner, the Faro Focus, which is uh, very useful for several applications in AEC segment. The instrument has a, a, a screen on the side that allows me to uh, control and manage the scanner. The scanner has also a Wi-Fi connection, so uh, we can uh, connect to the device with the tablet or with our phone. So right now I'm going to connect with the tablet to the device. And in the tablet, I'm going to, to use StreamUp in order to uh, control the instrument and to set up my, my project. Stream, stream up can be used to control uh, the scanner and to define the scanning project. First, uh, I check that the stream is the stream up is uh, connected to my device. Then I can create the folder of my project. Inside a project, it is possible to create also clusters. For example, in the case of a big big building, I can create the main project and then clusters for each floor of, of the building. Then uh, we can select the scanning profile. Here we can see the list of the default profiles, uh, but we can of course customize the scanning profiles. By entering in a profile, we can modify the resolution and the quality of the scan according to our needs. Then we can switch on or off the sensors of the laser scanner, and we can also decide if we want to acquire colors. Color acquisition can be done in two different ways, using the internal camera or using the external camera, the Panocam, which is an accessory. The advantage of using uh, the Panocam is that it is much faster. In just two seconds, the camera requires photos that then will be used to colorize the point cloud. So in case of a big project we, where color is needed, it is highly recommended to use the Panocam because it reduces significantly the acquisition time. And then according to the selected parameters, uh, we will have a different scan uh, duration. Once we have uh, selected the scanning profile, we can position our uh, device and we can start scanning. We can now position the scanner. I will place it here for the first scan. And then from uh, the stream up, I can start the scan. The advantage of using stream is that uh, we can see in, uh, in real time what uh, the device is, uh, is acquiring. So now the, start, the, the scan has started and the instrument starts rotating. And in stream, we can see in real time all the data. This is a top view. The instrument can acquire up to 2 million points per second with an accuracy of 1 millimeter. And on the bottom, we can see also the uh, remaining time. The scan is almost finished. Just a couple of seconds. OK. Once the scan is finished, I can move uh, the laser scanner in the second position. So I take it and I will move it here for my second scan. For the second scan, I'm going to select a different uh, scan profile. So I can move it here and I can select the flash profile. As we can see, this profile has a duration of 28 seconds. This is the fastest scanning profile. Uh, and it is a color scan. So it is a scanning profile, which is very, very useful in case of big project, because in only 28 seconds, we can obtain a colored point, uh, point cloud. So my scanner is uh, in the right position and I can start the second scan. Also in this case, we can see 
the acquisition in real time. And as we have just seen in the stream, there is already a pre-registration of our scan. So as the device has finished to acquire the first scan, automatically in the, um, in, uh, in the stream app, we uh, saw that the two, the two scan were automatically aligned. So we can see the acquisition of, uh, of this room and the position where the two different scan were, uh, were obtained. From the app, we can also uh, unlock the position of, a, of one scan and we can move it. Another thing that we can do, we can also add a comment and create an annotation related to this specific uh, scan. Once we have finished scanning, we can decide how to transfer the data. We can choose an online workflow or an offline workflow. In the online workflow, we can uh, upload the data directly from Stream App to SphereXG. In SphereXG, our data then will be processed and all the scans will be registered. If we choose an offline workflow, we can use an SD card to extract the data from the scanner and to import them in our laptop. And then we can use SYN, uh, Faro SYN software in order to process the data and to register the data. Then it is also possible to use other software such as a building construction, as built and uh, uh, zone 3D in order to analyze uh, these data. This is Farosin, the software that can be used to process and analyze the scans obtained with the uh, Farofocus laser scanner. So basically from here we can import all the scans, then we can process all the scans. In the processing phase all the scans will be colorized and uh, it is possible also to apply some filters to our scans. Then we can register all uh, the scans. We can perform an automatic registration that basically it can be target based, it can be cloud to cloud, or it can be top view based. Otherwise, uh, it is possible to perform a manual registration and visual registration or an interactive registration. And this kind of a registration give a more um, freedom to, to the user to, to modify and to uh, act on the type of uh, registration. Finally, after the uh, registration, it is possible to see and to view the project. Here, for example, we have uh, a project done scanning uh, the Faro office in Rizzato in Brescia. So uh, thanks to uh, some clipping bo a, a clipping box, it is possible to see the inside of, of the building. So this is the building. And this is the, the result. Scene uh, give us the possibility to take some measurement inside the, the point cloud. So basically by clicking the points from here, here, it is possible to extract the uh, length of this table, for example. Then another uh, option that we have here in scene is to uh, delete some points. So basically, it is possible to make some uh, selections Let's do like this. OK. It is possible to make some selection in order to uh, delete some unwanted points. So basically, by just drawing the line, we can select an object and we can delete these points. This command is very useful when, for example, uh, we want to delete some unwanted uh, portion of the point cloud. So for example, if there are some reflections due to mirror or to, or to windows, or for example, if you want to remove some people from our point cloud. 
Then another option that we have here in scene is uh, the possibility to use this uh, clipping box to obtain the floor plan of the building. So basically by using these arrows, we can modify the dimension of the clipping box in order to obtain uh, the plan of, of the building. This plan of the building can be exported and then imported in other software in order to draw with uh, the CAD model of, um, of uh, the plan of, of the building. Uh, thanks to the clipping box, it is possible to export some selections, uh, like in this case, the plan of the building, or we can also export uh, some just, for example, just a room. We can decide to modify the dimension of the clipping box and export, for example, just one, one room. And uh, here we can see um, the possible uh, file format in which we can export data. So from here, um, active clipping box, we can export our um, point cloud in all these file format. And of course, it is possible also to export the whole point uh, cloud project. Uh, SYN gives us also the possibility to, uh, for each scan to see uh, the point cloud and also to see the, um, the acquisition done, done by the Panocam. So here in the quick view. Just a moment, that it is loading the data. And here, for example, we can see the image captured by, by the Panocam. And then we also have the possibility to see the planar view, that basically it is the same image, but uh, in 2D. This is the image, the 360 photo taken by the Panocam. So basically, these are the main uh, feature of the scene uh, software. And from the export tab, it is possible to export the single scans, and it is possible to export the project point cloud, and also it is possible to upload the project in a SphereXG.